Welcome to another Vampire video. And as you can see, I've got some small product here and it's in a box. And what's in that box? Well, it's a Tomica Limited Vintage Neo Toyota Carina 1600 GTR. So what's so special about this car? Well, I picked it up from Auctions Yahoo and as you can see, the box is really, really small. And it has this car in it and the car is about the size of a Hot Wheels car or a Matchbox car or whatever you are used to. Uh, but you already can see that there's much more detail into this car. There are so many tiny things that are entirely correct on, on the car compared to the original car. Uh, this Carina, uh, you can see that it has the Twin Cam logo, uh, the door handles are there, the, the rims are correct. And I'll make a comparison with one of the Hot Wheels cars. Um, also you can see that the rear lights are plastic, front lights are plastic, uh, the side indicators are, are or the side lights are uh, painted on, but uh, the rest is uh, plastic um, and even in the plastic there's a lot of detail so it's just amazing how much detail uh, Tomica put into this car and uh, that's also why it's the, the the vintage limited Neo series and all the cars in this series have a similar detail or a similar uh, amount of detail uh, looking at the rear you can make out that there are the re reversing lights uh, you can see the the vertical slots in the the rear lights which is spot on for uh, the Carina you can make out um, most of the details here uh, looking at the, the, the interior it looks spot on we'll get into that with the macro lens a bit more so here we can see the GTR logo and the Toyota Carina logo on the right and left side. Uh, you can see that uh, the, the detail on the wheels is really, really good. Uh, th those are the Celica Supra rims or uh, if you would call them the, the uh, Carina GTR rims, whatever you're used to. Um, those are spot on. We'll take the macro lens and compare them to the brochure later on. Um, yeah, it's really good. Let's go uh, one level up. This is like the maximum I could do with a macro lens and you can make out the GTR logo and now on the right side you have the Carina logo and let's compare that to uh, this picture. Just look at it. it. It says Carina and you can almost make out the Toyota logo uh, on the left side of that but uh, yeah Toyota uh, lettering was too small they couldn't do that even the the boot lock is in there and, and you know the GTR logo is there but also the door handles they're just equally in size and they're so small and so detailed so th this is just amazing how much detail you can put into one of these cars now if you look at the rear section, there's the uh, the, the triangular uh, thing, and they didn't put Carina on that. I, I cannot I cannot blame them. That's too small. But here, the Twin Cam logo, it's the same as the one in the brochure. So yeah, and and here are the the seats inside the car. I, I tried to grab that, but even the polarization filter didn't. Uh, cancel out all the reflections on the windshield but you can almost see the cloth uh, aligning in there and also the, the steering wheel and the dashboard are the same so you can even make that out that's the level of detail you will get from this car uh, the wheels almost identical to the ones that are in the brochure and the ones I have on my Carina obviously so, yeah, you can even see there the, the lug nuts in there. So th there you have it. That's how they are supposed to look. Uh, what about the exhaust tip? Well, I was amazed that this thing had an exhaust underneath it, but even sticking out on the back. And you can see that, the, well, it's a bit difficult to see right now, uh, but yeah, I'll just change the angle a bit. And then you can see that the exhaust tip is also present. If you look at the underside, you can see that there's a catalytic converter and a, a muffler in there. And the, the total exhaust is 
completely accurate. Uh, there's also the gearbox, the gearbox mounts, prop shaft. Uh, at the front we have the track rods, which is really, really good. Very well detailed. And then we go to the rear where we have a semi-trailing arms, so independent rear suspension. But there is an error here. And I hope you can see what the error is. Can you, can you spot it? The, if it's independent rear suspension, why does it have a solid rear axle as well that's the only thing the only thing that I could find that wasn't correct this, this is what it's supposed to look like this is the independent rear suspension so much thinner lines and I think it's due to the construction of the car that they couldn't do that here we compare it against the Nissan Skyline uh, Hot Wheels car that I own and at first sight you can see a bit of difference but it isn't that big However, if, if we take that, if we, if we look a bit more closely, uh, you will notice a couple of differences, especially those wheels on the Nissan Skyline are, are they're horrible. Uh, they're too big for this car and they should be just a little bit smaller, but that's of course because Hot Wheels has a couple of standard parts, like the rear uh, or those wheels are standard parts from Hot Wheels, so they couldn't make like custom for that. Um, if we go up a bit more close, you can see that the Skyline logo is there, so that's that's amazing. You can see, you can make out a GTR logo, but if you look at the rear lights, they're painted on and they're, they're not even done pretty on this car. You can see all sorts of flaws and just compare that to the, the level of detail of the GTR logo of the Carina. That's so much better and also at the front we just have a plasticky thing and it's not even painted and the, the bumper is chrome and the, the, the front lip is chrome yeah there's not a lot of effort put into the skyline and of course there's a price difference um, the price difference is probably uh, 10 times so uh, that skyline cost me about one euro fifty and the uh, Tomica limited vintage is most of the times around 10 15 euros uh, in, in probably equally in dollars so yeah it's it's just amazing and and if I really have to choose between the two I naturally take the Karina